Hi, man, Armstrong, and welcome to the Back Office Teardown Lab. Today, we're going to have a new project unboxing. So, I'm going to just unbox or unbag all of the different components and I'll explain what they are. And hopefully, though, you might be able to guess what this project is by just the assemblage of these things. But it'll be interesting to see if you can or you do. So the first thing is some multicolored test clips there. They're the same kind you get when you want to test a PCB. I'll just show you some of those up close in case you've not seen them before. But you basically attach your wire to the end of this and then when you squeeze them, a little hook comes out so you can hook it on something. Normally used for obviously testing things on PCBs like little power rails and stuff like that. And that's different to the other kind I normally use which aren't hooked because they aren't hooked ones. Although they're quite nice for hooking on IC legs, they are a little bit um, fussy, so it's tricky really. Some potentiometers with a nice aluminium knob. Look at that, what a lovely knob. So that's those. And then we've got, this is a rather heavy one. Mmm, some multicolored component cables. So these are red, green, blue, ground and sync. Red, green, blue, ground, uh, ground, sorry, <laughs> and sync. Interesting, to a scar. So that's a RGB component cables. Oh, this is a heavy, heavy brute. Ooh. So here we have some gold plated, again, red, green, blue, ground and composite um, sink cables. Another interesting one. I think you're already starting to guess what this could be. And if you haven't, the next one should be really the one that uh, gives the game away. Can just unwrap this one? There you go. So there's cables again with similar colours. There's a lot of these uh, similar colours going around at the moment. I wonder why. And there you have the much maligned, by me mainly, uh, GBS board. And this is a version 4. And it takes an RGB input, RGB and sync input, and converts it to VGA. That's basically its whole bag. Um, or it takes, it says here VGA in, I'm not sure about that. And you can take the, again, component in on the panel. And that's what that does. And you've got this little wiring loom. So uh, you should start be starting to gel on an idea, really, of what this could be. And then the last bit will really, hopefully, put it over the edge. And that's if the last bit is actually intact. I'd be amazed if this isn't damaged. It's an incredibly fragile thing, and it's come all the way from China, of all places. And I can sense there's a lot of uh, rustling around in the bag, so it's it's come apart basically. It's not been particularly well wrapped. But... Huh. It does appear to be kind of more or less intact. Let's just tear it up in the middle. Be amazing if this is not damaged. There's a long screw there. Got a bag of fixings. And this, of course, is an enclosure, like a, um, a lab tool enclosure. I'm just going to loosely assemble it so you can see what it would should look like. It would look like, should look like when we're done. Wow, I've never seen one so cheap and nasty. <laughs> Put that so it all goes together. Yeah, it's not great, to be honest, in terms of quality, but I can work with this, I can work with this. And that goes like so. And you can see this is actually the bottom and there's a nice uh, grill aperture there to let, basically let 
warmth out. It's a bit dirty. Right, I'm going to tell you what my idea is. It's very simple. And there are a few more components as well I'm not showing you, but we're going to use here. Basically, I want you to imagine this thing sitting on your bench. And on the front of it, you have a load of phono connectors of RGB, sync, and um, you can see there's an extra one. Let's just see what I've done here. I've got red, green, blue. Red, green, blue, but two blacks and two things. That's because I'm also going to include audio. So you can plug in your component RGB source plus audio. And that's why I've got four knobs. So one is a volume knob for the audio. And then you've got three other knobs. One's for R, G, B, and the sync. So I'm, I'm going to wire it up so that I can actually adjust all the levels, even the levels on the sync. Because the idea being some devices you can get, like some old PCB things and, and whatnot, can sometimes be putting out, uh, sort of like jammer boards and things, can be putting out sinks and things a little bit too high. So this will let you um, turn them down. So if you look at the actual GBS board, you actually have those pots there, but we're not going to be using those. So we're going to have to be modifying this board quite significant really. We're going to be taking out these and we're going to be rewiring some of this stuff and we're not um, we're not going to be using any of these ports on the front at all. We're just going to be um, basically wiring them up to these and I'm going to use this loom from here because you've already got a nice little loom there and I haven't worked out yet. I was just thinking did I order something to get power? I, I probably ought to think about that if I haven't. We'll need a way of getting power to this, and I'm, I'm not sure yet. Probably just a DC jack. I've got a whole bag of uh, you know normal DC jacks, sort of usual things. And of course, I'm going to mount an amplifier and a speaker in here too, so the whole thing can be, you know, be nice then, because it's a nice little piece of test equipment, so it can just sort of live on your shelf. So what I've got to do at some point though is work out how I'm going to make this panel, you know, how I want the layout and the knobs and things like that, which I, I haven't done yet. And you're saying, well, why do you have these leads? Well, the reason I have these leads is twofold. One, it's way cheaper to buy a SCART lead. There you go. It's way cheaper to buy a SCART lead than buy these connectors separately. So frankly, I just bought the SCART lead knowing that I'm going to basically chop it up. So there's two options for me with this. The first one really is to cut the SCART off and wire it up to these guys here. Yeah, so I've got just test clips. So that's kind of really handy. So I have one set of cables, that's a test clip cable. And then the other, I might just keep the SCART on it and I'll try it in something like my MSX. I'm not sure on the direction of this cable because remember you can sort of wire these up a little bit weirdly sometimes as they're in or out. I'll have to check everything. But my uh, MSX, I believe, it has a SCART on it and it should be um, it should be an RGB output. So I'll see if the MSX works with that. And if it does, then great. I'll just leave one set um, intact. So I got two essentially because it's, it's cheap, cheap enough to buy two. You know, the on cost with the PMP of the second one was pretty cheap. Again, much cheaper than buying the whole thing set up. And uh, just to show you this, look, these actually are the feet. So there is a, hole, a little hole in the bag. Obviously, the bag punctured itself in transit, but got the feet, and it, they're actually hard plastic. It's almost like as if someone's looked at one of those project boxes and made it all out the wrong materials. <laughs> but again, I'm pretty, I'm pretty buzzed that it's actually arrived, and it will, uh, it will do the job. I'm also quite interested in this, these sorts of handle technologies, because if you've seen these, you can actually crank them round. So it can slot nicely on your bench, yeah, as a sort of nice thin bench thing, or you can pull this up and you, know, you can sort of stand it up so you can see the screen. And you go, why would you want to do that? Well, maybe there's other things we can add to this. You might want to have a little voltmeter or something. I don't know yet. There's all sorts of stuff. This is just the first project that we're using this sort of thing in, but you could use, um, use it for all sorts going forward. Now I don't know what this thing is. It says RGBHV here. So I wonder if this is, uh, this is probably an output on the uh, GBS board. But then we've also got here this VGA port. So it will be interesting to see how we're gonna mount this. Because it would be nice to mount this to a panel. One other option could be as well though, and again, I might just do this because it's easier, is to permanently fix a VGA cable on the back. Because there's plenty of room in here to do that if you just glue it down somewhere and uh, just have a grommet here, pass the VGA cable through with a grommet. I'm not sure yet what I'll do. Whatever it is, I'm sure I'll let you know. 
and we'll work that out. So stick stick with me and stay tuned on a you know future video. Um, we'll uh, be putting this together. If you want to um, buy your own components and then we can make it uh, you know play along at home, and that's going to be awesome to do that. Um, just do so. I will just run through everything then. So. I've got the GBS uh, board here, and you can get them on the interwebs for about, I don't know, they're under 20 quid, I think. I don't know what it was. I can't remember. Pretty cheap. A project enclosure. Again, that was cheap. Maybe another five, ten pounds. You'll need your phono connectors. Expensive if you buy them in different colours like this. Cheap if you get them in a single colour. But they are just panel mount phonos. You do not, definitely don't need them in this gold sort of hi-fi finish. Um, Potentiometers, I can't remember what these are. These are just 1K. So I've got 1K potentiometers here. I don't know why I chose 1K and I hope they're right, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> these ones say 105 on them, so I'll have to look that up to sort of, or is it 501? Hmm. Not sure what they are. Hopefully they're similar. But get some suitable potentiometers and some knobs. knobs. But again, panel mount. Everything has to be panel mounts. You can drill that out and mount them. Test clips, whatever you want for your cabling. And that's pretty much it. And you need a suitable power supply. It's uh, 5 volts to 12 volts. Um, and again, anything you got lying around will do that. So maybe like the VGA, I actually will just maybe permanently hook it to that and just have grommets coming out the back. I think I can sacrifice a permanent 5 volt power supply for this project. So stay tuned, comments down below, and uh, let's discuss this project. Thank you for watching.